गुड मॉर्निंग एवरी वन सो टूडे वी आर गोइंग टू कवर सम मोर डेफिनेशन रिलेटेड टू दी ग्राफ थ्योरी सो विल बिगिन विद ए वॉक सो ए वॉक इज एन ऑल्टरनेटिव सीक्वेंस ऑफ वर्टिसेज एंड एजेस दैट बिगिनस एंड एंड्स विद वर्टेक्स सो यू कैन सी हियर दैट यू नॉट यू वन दे ऑल आर वर्टिसेज इट इज स्टार्टिंग विद वर्टेक्स एंडिंग विद वर्टेक्स एंड इन बिटवीन देर आर एजेस so u not is the initial vertex of the walk uk is the final vertex and the k is the length of the walk so k represents the number of the edges here so in a walk the number of the edges represent its length so if you see this example then in this example we can start from u1 going to e2 then e3 then e1 e4 then again coming back to e4 then e8 and then e7 so seven edges are involved and therefore it is a walk of length 7 the important observation here is that that walk in the walk the edges as well as vertices can be repeated so here u2 got repeated even u3 is here u3 is here so u3 got repeated edges got repeated e4 got repeated e4 got repeated so if repetition of edges are not allowed then a walk is a trail so trail is a walk with all of its edges distinct for example if i draw this one so 1 2 3 4 So one to two, two to three, three to four, and four to two. You can see here the vertex two is repeated, not a problem. But there is no repetition of edge, so this is a trail. A path is a walk with all vertices distinct. So in a path, we have already discussed the definition of path. There is no repetition of vertices. A UV walk is a walk with initial vertex U and final vertex V. A walk or trail is closed if initial and final vertices are same. A closed trail is called circuit. So, what do you think? What is is a circuit same as a cycle, or is it different from a cycle? So, it is different. let's consider a example of course if we consider a cycle then a cycle is always a circuit but a circuit is not always a cycle so 1 2 3 4 5 i can go from 1 2 3 coming back to 1 then 4 then 5 and coming back to 1 this is a circuit not a problem because edges do not get repeated but it is not a cycle so cycle is a closed walk with no repetition of vertices except the initial and final vertex so what do you think is every path a trail yes of course because there is no repetition of edges in a path but every trail is not a path we have already discussed the example this one so there is a trail from 1 to 2 2 to 3 3 to 4 4 to 2 there is no repetition of edge but vertex 2 got repeated and therefore it is not a path now quickly try to see the following walks and you need to tell me which one of them is a path or a trail or a closed walk or a cycle or a closed trail so if you see the first one then in the first one the vertex u1 and u1 got repeated so there is a repetition of vertex but there is no repetition of edges and therefore it is a trail the next one there is no repetition of vertex u1 u3 u2 u5 u4 there is no repetition of edges also and therefore it is a path the next one you can see that e2 e2 got repeated 
and then u3 u3 got repeated so vertices got repeated edges got repeated and therefore it is a closed walk starting at u3 and ending at u3 the next one is a closed trail because there is a repetition of vertex but not edges and last one is a cycle now if we have the two walks we can talk of their composite walk also so p is going from u not to uk and if uk is same as v not then pq can always be written and similarly we can talk of a inverse of a walk Let's see in question. So recall K4, complete graph of length 4. This is how K4 can be drawn. There can be many ways, but the simplest representation is. Now you need to give an example or you need to tell us that it does not exist. So a walk that is not a trail. So this is always very easy. You can go from any edge and repeat the edge. So you can go from 2 to 3 and again come back to 2. So 2, 3, 2. It is a walk and edges got repeated, therefore not a trail. A trail that is not closed and is not a path. Think over it. Example is simple. Consider any triangle with an edge. So consider triangle 1, 2, 3 and 4. So you can start from 1 to 2, 2 to 3, 1 to 2, 2 to 3, 3 to 1 and 1 to 4. It is not closed, it is not a path but it is a trail. The last one is a closed trail which is not a cycle. So if you think over it then it does not exist in K4. Whatever you do you cannot find a closed trail because if you recall the example of a closed trail which is not a cycle is something like this so 1 2 3 4 5 so from 1 go to 2 2 to 3 3 to 1 then 1 to 4 4 to 5 and coming back to 1 so what exactly happening here is that if you see the 1 here then we are going out of 1 1 to 2 coming into 1 then going out of 1 and then coming into 1 and this is why this 1 has an even degree. So if we have to form a closed trail we are looking for a vertex with even degree but in K4 all the vertices have degree odd and therefore we can say that there is no closed trail which is not a cycle. Let's discuss a result. Consider a graph with distinct vertices u and v. We say that g, if g contains a uv walk, then it must contains a uv path. It's very easy to see by ourselves because if from u to v there is a walk, there is a possibility that some edges and some vertices got repeated. If we neglect the repetition, then it becomes a UV path. So this is way we can say that, but if we have to prove it mathematically, we need a more sophisticated way to prove it. And therefore we choose the method of induction. So how we use the method of induction? We use the induction on the length k. If k is equal to 1, then uv walk is same as uv path. Yes? Let's assume that every uv walk with length at most k contains a uv path. Yes? Now we need to prove the result for uv walk of length k plus 1. If there is no repetition of vertices, then it itself is a uv path. We are done. If there is a repetition of vertex, let's say vi to vj something like this you are going there then in the walk you travel somewhere and coming back here so this is a repetition of vertex what you do is that you make a new walk by deleting the repeated vertices and edges by doing so when you delete 
it at least one of the edge got deleted and you will have a walk with length at most k and now you can use induction that it must have a uv path and therefore the walk of length k plus 1 has a uv path so sometimes induction is a very powerful tool to prove many graph theoretical result let's discuss one more question every closed even walk contains an even cycle how do you prove or disprove it when you have to prove something you have to give a mathematical proof but when you have to disprove something you just produce a counter example here even walk whenever we use the word even or odd walk path cycle we are talking of its length it means even walk means its length is even even cycle means the length is even so here is an counter example if you consider two triangles 1 2 3 4 5 so you start with 1 going to 2 3 then 1 then 4 then 5 and then 1 you can see its length is 6 but it is not in cycle so it does not contain an even cycle but if we consider a closed odd walk then we claim that it always contain an old cycle. Yes, we will again prove it by induction. But let's see the logic that why it works. So if there is a closed old walk, let's say starting from U. And there is a repetition of vertex. So coming back to U and starting. So from U it is going to U1, U2, somewhere like this and then coming back to you then going to v1 v2 somewhere like this yes now by induction we assume that if there is a closed old walk of length less than equal to 2k minus 1 then it contains an old cycle and we have to prove the result for 2k plus 1 if there is a repetition of vertices then this walk of length 2k plus 1 it can be break into two walks both the walks are closed starting and ending at u something like this so this is walk 1 this is walk 2 now the length of one of the walk must be old because it's old and if this one is even in total it forms an old closed walk and its length is less than equal to 2k minus 1. It means it contains an old cycle. Yes. But if the result was closed even walk. Then the problem is that if we have to use the induction. Then there can be two closed walk. Both are old. And that's why the same induction hypothesis does not work for the result every closed even walk contains an even cycle so you can read how we have used the induction here but the logic is this is the logic which we have used so next is connectivity we say that u is connected to v if there exists a uv path Always remember connectivity is different from adjacency. If UV is adjacent, it is always connected. Yes, but connected does not mean adjacent. So U is connected to V if there is a UV path. And then the graph is connected if every pair of vertices are connected. Otherwise, we say it is a disconnected graph. So, for example, if I draw the graph 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, this is a disconnected graph because there is a no path between 1 and 4, between 1 and 5 and so on. And when we draw the disconnected graph, when then we can talk of its component. So, it has two components. Within component, there should be a path between every pair of the vertices. So, between 1, 2, 3, there is a path between every pair of the vertices even I can increase this component let's say like this 
and I can make this component like this. So within the component, there should always every pair of the vertices should be connected. So this is component one, this is component two. So subgraph H of G is a component of G if H is a maximal connected subgraph of G. We are saying maximal connected because if there are two components, one, two, three is one component, four, five is the other component. Then one, two, if we consider one, two, it is not maximally connected because two is also connected to three. So this one, two, three is maximally connected because it is no further connected. So this is the graph. The first one is a connected graph and therefore it has only one component. The other one is disconnected graph and therefore it has two components. So when the graph is disconnected, it has at least two components. So based on connectivity, we are going to discuss many result. And in the next class, we start by proving the result. The graph is bipartite if and only if it has no code cycles. You can try to prove by yourself. Thank you.